Hi everyone. Uh, today I'd like to talk about a very important power time that's coming up today, which is called uh, Ganesha's birthday celebrations. So in India, um, Ganesha's birthday. So who is Ganesha? Let me start off with that. So Ganesha is the elephant-headed god in, um, in from India, and he is called Ganesha, which means the king of angels. He has a whole host of angels that help him. Um, he's best known as the uh, obstacle remover. Um, and in India, when they do a lot of uh, services or ceremonies, spiritual ceremonies and whatnot, they always start off with Ganesha. Ganesha is uh, removes obstacles, bad karma, negative karma of all kinds. Uh, whether it's planetary, ancestral, whatever the karmic issues that you're having, he removes all of those obstacles for you. And so it's a very special time to celebrate his birthday. So why do they celebrate birthdays of uh, gods? Well, uh, Dr. Pillai talks about how the birthday of a god is birthing the god within yourself, within your own consciousness. Um, Ganesha is just really a special god because he actually helps everyone. He's very close to human beings more so than any other god. Okay, And he can remove whatever obstacle, whatever bad karmic issue that you have. In fact, in my life, I call on Ganesha when I wake up. When I wake up in the morning and I'm still in bed, I will chant his mantra about nine times and I'll say a prayer to him. Um, I'd say a prayer of if there's any issues that I'm having to deal with, uh, I will, you know, or just say something in, in general, like, you know, please remove any obstacles that are in my path, both inside of me, you know, any obstacles within me and uh, any obstacles that are uh, outside of me as well. So he's really a very important um, archetype to have in your life. And I highly recommend that on his birthday, so this year, his birthday is gonna fall on September 2nd. And that is a wonderful time to connect with Ganesha and to birth him into your consciousness, into your life, and to make a, a, a connection with Ganesha. At, that, at this time, on September 2nd, um, during his birthday, his energy will be ever present on the earth plane. So it's the most opportune time to connect with Ganesha. So before I go into, you know, how do you connect with Ganesha? I'm going to give you um, a, my own testimony. I, I love Ganesha. Ganesha has been a part of my spiritual practice for at least the you know, past five or six years. I even knew about him uh, a couple of decades before then. And um, one instance, this was about maybe a couple of years ago. I was feeling, I woke up in the morning, I was feeling very unloved and very not seen and I was just broken hearted about it. I just felt like I was invisible. And so I went to my altar and I uh, showed Ganesha the light, which I'll show you in just a minute or two. And I, you know, cried at, at, at his, you know, at his altar and I said, Ganesha, I just feel invisible. I feel unloved and I don't know what to do with this. Can you please help me? Well, two hours later, I got a phone call from my state insurance and they needed someone to talk about, to, to provide a testimony about how great the state insurance is. And they asked me, Did it, do you have a testimony? I said, yes, I do. I actually had knee surgery and the surgery didn't cost a lot of money. I didn't break the bank. Um, I had wonderful physical therapy that was uh, very cheap, maybe about $10 per session. And it worked, you know, my knee got better. So um, they said, great, well, this is a great testimony. We want to, we are asking you to come to our event today, which I didn't think was today. I was thinking it was like two or three days later. But they said, we need someone to come to our event today to talk about their testimony um, being on the state insurance, health insurance. And I said, sure, I'll come, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking this is like a fair, right? You have different kiosks, different things people are selling, maybe different health insurances. And I'm there at a kiosk just, you know, one of many people talking, you know, talking to pastors by, hey, you know, if you want to join the state health insurance, this is what you do. Now, or here's my testimony. Now, what actually happened <laughs> was that um, during this time, our, that state health insurance was supporting murals throughout the state of California. California is where I live. And uh, they were doing a mural in this particular community 
at a youth center. So it was a center where you had a lot of young people, a lot of, you know, some adults and things of that nature. Um, they had different classes, you know, for physical, um, you know, activities and things of that nature. And so this took place, this event took place on a corner, on a street corner. They had a podium with two balloon trees. So if you know what balloon trees are, it's just the balloons are attached to a stick and it's like there are um, uh, multiple ones of the stick and they're, they're like trees, right? Two huge balloon trees. There were people with cameras. Uh, there was a crowd of about 30 people. They had some of the executive people from the state health insurance that came off of this big bus with you know advertising the state health insurance and whatnot. And it was funny. They wanted me to give my testimony at the podium. And what's remarkable about this story is that, number one, I really wasn't expecting to stand at a podium in front of a group of people. That just happened, right? Um, I wasn't expecting to get a phone call to ask and, you know, give a testimony about my experience with this, you know, particular uh, health insurance. So it was just phenomenal. I mean, here I was probably about three or four hours before praying to Ganesha, talking about it, I, I didn't see, I felt unseen and unloved. And next thing you know, two hours later, I get a phone call and, you know, an hour or so after that, I'm at this public event. And I thought it was, it was just, it was funny a lot. I don't mean ha ha, but it was just so, uh, it was phenomenal. This Things like that don't happen to me. So I thought, wow, he really heard my prayer and he even provided an opportunity for me to be seen and to be heard <laughs> by a group of people. So it was a wonderful experience. That's my testimony with Ganesha. And, um, you know, Ganesha does a lot of things for me and just helping me to remain calm, to see things in a different way. And so I highly recommend that you connect with him on his birthday that's coming up. So here are a couple of ways that you can uh, get connected with Ganesha. So first, um, Ganesha's seed mantra is gum. Gum. I know it sounds like chewing gum, and it's not the gum that you chew, but it's a sound. Gum is the sound of removing obstacles. So what I do in the morning, uh, even before I get out of bed, is I chant gum uh, about nine times. You can chant the mantra nine times, 27 times, 54, or even 108. If you want to be more traditional, you would chant his mantra 108 times, okay? Um, that's one way to get... Um, connected with Ganesha during this time. And in the description of this video, I have a link to a free audio that you can download where you hear Dr. Palai chanting gum. Dr. Palai is a guru master and whatnot. I have another video on him uh, on this channel, so you can check that out. The another way that you can connect with Ganesha is just pray to him, you know, call his name Ganesha and pray to him about whatever obstacle or negative karma that you're dealing with and ask for his help. And usually the way that I like to put it is that I cannot get through this without you and I really need your help. And when you do that often, you'll find that things will start, you will have opportunities that are presented to you to either look at the situation in a different way, to become more calm and relaxed. Uh, maybe whatever's going on doesn't affect you negatively anymore. You know, there are various ways in how a situation or negative karma can get handled. So it really depends upon what it is that you're praying to him about. But when you do it enough and you do it on a regular basis, you're really establishing a relationship with him and you're calling him into your life. You're invoking him into your life and to ask for help. And as I said before, his specialty is removing negative karma of all kinds. Another way, if you have an altar to Ganesha, if you see over here, you might see a little candle that's flickering over here. Um, I'm traveling at the moment, so I don't have my normal altar that you guys have seen in other videos. But what I travel with is a little pouch and I have a crystal Ganesha that's right here. So I'm gonna come and bring it to the camera so you guys can see it just a little bit better. I also have, will have a link in, I have a link in the description of the video so you can take a look at it up close. I carry Ganesha with me. This is, for me, this is where, you know, this is Ganesha. This is, um, I do a hydration ritual on Sundays with this. Um, when he's with me, I always feel better. Like I carry him in my purse and I'm like, you know, Ganesha's with me, so I don't have to fear, be fearful of the situation, or I don't have to worry about, you know, um, something that may be uh, troubling me. Um, you may also see, I have a yantra here. This is not a Ganesha mantra. The yantra is actually Shreem Brzee. 
But um, these are some of the items that I take with me and I travel with, and they're small enough so they can fit right into um, my travel bag. Whoops, excuse me. Sorry about the Ganesha fell over a little bit. So one of the things, if you have an image, a printed image of Ganesha, or if you have a statue, take a candle, you wanna light it. And what you do is, what they call this procedure, show the light, okay? You're showing him the light. And you usually do it three times. So I usually do chant his mantra and show the light. Gum, gum, gum. And when you do that, you can put the candle either in front or maybe on the side and then you do your prayer or you can ask them for help. And showing the light is a spiritual science where you um, really call Ganesha into your life. And oftentimes it is through the statue as well, but you're showing them like, it's almost like awakening uh, Ganesha when you do that. So those are three things that you can do. Chant his mantra, gum. Uh, there are other mantras such as Om Gum Ganapataye Namaha, that's another mantra. Um, you can also just pray to him. If you don't, you're not sure what the mantra is, just pray to him. Ask for his help. Say, I'm in need of your divine assistance with the situation. Or you can, if you have a printed image or a statue of him, you can show him the light. And that is a way of awakening Ganesha in your life. So please make sure that you take this opportunity this year to connect with Ganesha uh, during uh, his birthday celebration. Oh, and one important thing I forgot, I almost forgot. If you have a printed image, like a little altar or whatnot, also offer him something. You can offer him a cup of water. You can offer him a vegetarian uh, meal. Uh, anything that, if it has milk in it, it's, it's okay. But eggs, you don't want to have anything with eggs in it if you can. Uh, one of, two of fav uh, his favorite, uh, what do you call it, foods is a banana or a mango. So you can also offer that, put that on the altar for a few hours. And then afterwards, you can eat it yourself. It's considered to be sacred, or you can give it to someone else to and have them eat it as well. Okay? So hopefully that'll help you. I hope I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you to really connect uh, with Ganesha on his birthday. Namaste.